Hi everybody, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a blessed day. So I have a word for you guys today. And this word comes from a dream that um, the Lord gave me on the 8th, November 8th, 2023. And in this dream, I was in a mall. And in this mall, there was a, like this fancy restaurant. And um, I was there and I looked around and I was surrounded by celebrities. Like there was just celebrities everywhere. And I'm like, what am I doing here? <laughs> I felt so out of place. I felt like I had no business there. Like I didn't know what I was doing there. I was just like, why am I here? Um, and so I was just like, okay, I guess I'll just keep to myself and stay quiet and nobody will notice me and I'll be okay. Like, you know, and then next thing I know, I'm at a table and, um, there's celebrities right at this table and I'm just there quiet, keeping to myself, not wanting to be noticed. And then, um, there was something off on the table and I just kind of like straightened it out like barely any movement i just put my my hand out my arm and i just kind of moved it a little bit and that was it and when i did that the whole table just like they turned around and looked at me and were like what is that and i'm like what is what <laughs> i didn't know what they were talking about they're like your perfume like what perfume are you wearing like it smells so good what is it what is that and i'm like um i don't know and literally i could see in the dream that i went like this to smell <laughs> to smell myself to see what perfume i was wearing right and also when i did that i saw that i wasn't wearing like anything dressy i was wearing a t-shirt just like super casual t-shirt and jeans and stuff and so then um i i smelled my shirt you know and i noticed that i'm not wearing any perfume like there was no scent on me at all like whatsoever no scent and i like it didn't even smell like soap or detergent it was like no scent it didn't smell bad it was just no scent but everybody was like you're wearing a perfume what is it and i'm like i'm not wearing any like i'm sorry like you know so i kind of was like i don't know what you're talking about you know and so that was it and then um after another short while i get up from the table and i walk across the room or the restaurant and throw something away in the trash can right and then i come back to the table and then i notice that the whole restaurant now it just wasn't the table it was the whole like everybody that was there was like you need to tell us like stop playing like tell us what perfume that is like tell us like they were just i don't know they were like obsessed with wanting to know what perfume i was wearing but i wasn't wearing any perfume like you know and so that was the dream and so then um I knew right away what scripture to go to and so I went to it and when I went to it the Lord just started revealing a lot and downloading so I'm gonna read it and this is 2nd Corinthians um, 2 12 through 17 okay um, when I came to Tros to preach the gospel of Christ, even though a door was open for me in the Lord, my spirit was not at rest because I did not find my brother Titus there. So I took leave of them and went on to Macedonia. But thanks be to God who in Christ always leads us in triumphal procession and through us spreads the knowledge of him everywhere for we are the aroma of christ 
to God among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. To one a fragrance from death to death, to the other a fragrance from life to life. Who is sufficient for these things? For we are not like so many peddlers of God's word, but as men of sincerity, as commissioned by God. In the sight of God, we speak in Christ. And so with this scripture, um, in the dream, it was like, whatever they were smelling was christ in me it wasn't me at all I, I i couldn't smell my like any perfume on me but they could with any movement i did it was like what is that tell us what perfume it is you know and it was obviously something that was very different it was something that they were like wanting to know like immediately tell us what it is um, and so here what God is saying is that he's going to put you in places and rooms with people that you might feel out of place that you might feel like I don't belong here I don't know what I'm doing here I don't know what I have to offer but God is saying because in this verse says even though a door was open for me in the Lord God is opening doors right now of opportunity of influence um, he's broadening your sphere and what is going to keep you there is him in you is that fragrance that that he has put in you because when you speak of him when you share him there's this fragrance there's there's life that you're sharing with people who are in need spiritually and um don't feel um there's gonna be people that aren't gonna make it with you like here in this verse, it says, um, even though a door was open for me in the Lord, my spirit was not at rest because I did not find my brother Titus there. So don't worry. God is saying, don't worry of who makes it uh, with you and who doesn't. Don't worry about who got left behind and who, uh, and just don't worry about that. God doesn't want you to worry about that. Okay. Worry about where he's leading you. Worry about the doors that, that he's opening uh, for you and know that you belong there. He has anointed you to be in these rooms, in these places, surrounded by these people. Um, your anointing is going to make room for you. Your anointing is going to uh, make you needed. You're needed because you have the what god has placed in you is something that the world needs desperately needs and you carry that everywhere you go and it doesn't matter the people that that are around if they're um celebrities or if you think they have more influence than you than you it doesn't matter his anointing what he has placed in you is going to make room for you it's going to make you um like relevant you're you're needed he has called you to these places to these people you know these these are new assignments that he's calling you to and so he's saying don't worry about who makes it in the room and who doesn't don't worry about who's in the room and who's not in the room i put you there i need you there okay so don't feel uh, don't lose peace over it. Don't feel like the way I did like, oh, I'm just gonna keep to myself and like no He's calling you to share him. It says here um, He leads us in triumphal procession, which means that um, He we are being led by him He's opening doors and he's leading us into these places Okay, and 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 with with triumph with vi with victory okay and through us spreads the knowledge of him everywhere we are the aroma of christ to god among the my phone is not cooperating so just to close um just know that wherever god is sending you even though you might feel out of place he sent you there he has commissioned you he's bringing you out of hiding and and sending you out because you carry what 
um, these places where he's sending you is needed. What you carry, what he's giving you is needed in these places and these people. So you belong, okay? You belong and um, yeah, you're ready. Whether you feel ready or not, you are ready. God is going to send you out, okay? So that's it for now. Um, God bless you guys. Bye.